the fact that people are dying every two to three days within shelters, I think is something that we really can't accept within society. Tara Gomes says Ontario health data shows opioid use accelerated during the pandemic. She and her co-authors say their work highlights the need for more supports in shelters to help stop people from dying. BC addiction medicine specialist Dr. Paxton Box says overdoses have become more complicated no matter where you live in Canada. The nature of the drug supply um, as it currently is, it's very volatile, it's very unpredictable, and there are many, many compounds in it that are not opioids and that don't respond to naloxone in the way that we'd expect. Gomes says shelters need better tools to manage more complex situations. We're hearing certainly that there's more of a need for things like oxygen support for people who are experiencing polysubstance uh, overdoses, so overdoses from multiple substances. And that is being integrated into some shelters, but is more complicated. It requires more approvals and training of staff. About 2,500 people died in Ontario in 2022, marking a 63% increase from 2019. And the report shows 44% had engaged with the healthcare system within a week of dying. For me, that signals a missed opportunity. It shows that these are folks who are actually coming out and trying to seek help, but they're probably not getting the help they need or not getting it in the ways that they need it. Dr. Nahid Dasani works at St. Michael's Hospital in downtown Toronto. He says meaningful, direct investments could make all the difference. If we go upstream and invest in the needs and care of people who use drugs and people experience, who experience homelessness, we probably can prevent unnecessary ER visits and acute hospitalizations as well. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.